Hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Welcome to your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, in this reading for the month of April, happy birthday, by the way, we are going to be taking a look on how are things going to be influencing us as a whole generally and energy wise so we are going to be checking in what you're going through right now in the present moment and how are things going to be flowing out what's going to be happening soon and the outcome of things so that's how we are going to be doing the reading and over here the cards that we are seeing over here is really more on to give us more information on what might happen what are the energy flows and other information that we might have missed out and um, chiromancy is really my thing <laughs> if you still don't know since it gives me like a predictive style of uh, situation here and um, they, these cards gives us some form of internal dialogue um, especially in terms of love in terms of um, I would say uh, soulmate notes I call this so it can give us information about that and i do also have here um other information that can you know give us flavor in um situations that might be um panning out for you for the month of april as a whole so uh, we do have a lot of things to cover <laughs> so i hope that this reading helps you out and becomes really insightful and helpful for you as you venture um this coming month so um yeah so let's start and again let me just uh give you guys a reminder that this reading is for all of you in the sign of aries sun moon and rising sign so and please do know that this is still general reading so it may or may not tune in for to everyone and you can definitely use your own intuition as you go along with me for this reading as well so we are seeing here we have the queen of wands the hierophant and the high priestess you know this is like what you're going through um during this time you know it is at the present moment and this is a situation we're in i would say that a lot of you guys have been really contemplative like uh we are don't we don't really see a lot of action right there so it could be possible that you know the last month um it was not really the most productive month for you there's a lot of contemplation that has been happening maybe a lot of realizations there's a lot of thoughts that you you are really coming to coming across with and for some of you guys it could be a situation wherein you want to make plans for the future but it does, does not mean that you're actually making any progress of sort this is about you collecting information or thinking about the various ventures in your life that you want to to maybe uh, venture in whether this is about you uh, looking into the past looking into the future i kind of feel that you know this is about you preparing yourself you know for some form of maturity in life um, whenever we have the, the queen of wands here this is about a person that is um, having the urge to to be motivated to be um to be inspired so i would say that you know a lot of you guys are having this you know energy we're in there's a lot of things that i want to experience there's a lot of things that i want to bring into my life and in, bring into my energy um it's just that i haven't really made any concrete action and it's not really a surprise because um astrology wise in a lot of you know that you know whenever i do readings like this sometimes i do relate them to astrology because they go hand in hand together like you know if you're not seeing any progress and that is probably because you know we have a lot of piscean energy it's making us a lot contemplative and uh, many times this can create some form of um, energy wherein you wanted to move forward you wanted to proceed with things to you know make things happen but uh, things are not exactly happening in the way that you are wanting things to be you know there's a lot of delays there's a lot of obstacles in place 
and、uh, that might be something that you have been experiencing, and you are, you know, maybe you're watching this video and you're wondering when, when are things actually gonna move forward? You know, what's gonna be happening soon, or、um, is there going to be any exciting moments, exciting events that is going to be transpiring? There's a lot of plans, a lot of thoughts in my head, and a lot of thoughts in my mind that I want, that I want to manifest, that I want to bring into my Reality, whether it is personal or in a relationship and love life or career, but it's not happening. You know, this is just me wishing and wishing, thinking about the things that I want, but not really owning them, not really having them in my life. So, some of you guys might be in a state of frustration. Remember, we have here the obstacles and delay to solve, and you know, this is pertaining to a fact that we are. In a situation wherein we are experiencing some form of, you know, a, a pause moment,、uh, there could be a situation, you know, wherein you feel so troubled because、um, there are things that are blocking your way, or maybe you are wanting to 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 generate some form of cash. And you're not getting any form of deals, you know. You know the people that you are talking to are always giving you a lot of excuses, a lot of reasonings, and you're not really getting what you want. So that is really what we are seeing here、uh, in the present moment. This is not, you know, I'm discussing you guys, you know, what you might be、um, undergoing before you actually enter the. April energy, or this、uh, this is also an energy wherein you might feel and experience, you know, maybe in the first few days of the month. And as we go over to、um, April, you know, what's going to be happening soon? This is going to be an energy wherein there's going to be a lot of, you know, changes. You are going to make some form of changes. This is also. Going to be a time where, in some form of new beginnings, are going to be taking place. It could be things that you are going to initiate, or there could be certain events in your life that happens that allows things to actually move forward. When we have here the the full card and the the star card over here, it gives us a situation where an opportunity happens or some form of hope.、Um, Something happens within the month that can actually fill us with a lot of joy, a lot of surprising、uh, situation, and a lot of satisfaction and contentment,、um, all at the same time. So I would say that this is about you,、um, maybe taking a risk or taking a leap of faith, because that is what the fool is all about, you know. Um, I would say that there is a form of saving grace whenever、um, this energy pops in. So、um, maybe a blessing of some kind enters the fear of your life,、um, and this could also be some form of、um, opportunity. You know, a door opens for you.、Um, that form of energy, and this gives, this is also going to be that situation wherein maybe you have been. Praying for something, wishing for something, and finally you get a spark. You know, you get a glimpse of hope that you can actually manifest things and the things that maybe you have been praying over, you have been waiting on, are、um, opening up to you. You know, you're you're finally seeing the chance and the possibility that.、Um, You can finally move forward. You know, some form of progress might be happening for you、um, as a whole. And if we are going to be taking a look at this in a very relationship and love life situation, this could be a situation wherein maybe you are wanting for、um, for. A connection, you know, you are wanting some form of exciting ventures in terms of your love life and relationship, and maybe you're you're not having it, and you are going to be in a situation wherein um,、uh, some form of message or maybe your person, your other person,、um, do something that's very surprising, that's very um. Unpredictable, and it gives you a form of exciting energy. I I do see here that you know, there's something that you are not expecting, um, but it happens anyway. So basically,、uh, there is a very unexpected factor here, and you know, 
it will it, it has that energy that caught you off guard like i'm not expecting this but it actually turns out very wonderful you know there's um some form of saving grace a miracle kind of a feeling comes into the situation of things over here as well and um, the outcome of how things are going to flow is we have here the Knight of Wands, we have the Two of Wands, and we do have here the Two of Cups. So this is a really, really wonderful energy we're in. Maybe you are um, wanting some form of engagement, wanting some form of activity, connection with someone, some form of intimacy, maybe for um, in terms of your love life, you know, you are wanting more out of a relationship or maybe you are at the situation if you're single or in you wanted to talk to someone want to meet someone but you're not really able to you know this is you know all about the lack of things i mean these three sets are good cards it's just that w when we're looking into a relationship and you got you get the high priestess over here in the higher funds we're not really seeing um we're not really seeing that much action between them. You might be in a relationship. You could be with someone, but it does not mean that there's a lot of passion. Um, it could be that you are in a relationship and maybe things are quite dull. It could be, you know, some form of situation that you're wishing for something and you're not really getting it or not, not much events are really unfolding in that relationship. And we're seeing here that slowly... Um, there is going to be some form of chances, an opportunity, some form of change that revitalize things, revitalize the, the, the situation maybe. And it actually leads up over here where in um, what you are wishing for really happens. So if you're wanting some form of excitement, you are going to get it. Maybe that person is going to invite you out <laughs> on a vacation, on a trip, or maybe you're just going to be experiencing something, um, something thrilling, exciting, and fun with you and your partner. This could also be a situation where in um, maybe you haven't been having any form of conversation or, or talk with that person. Um, there's some form of lack of communication of some kind, you know, uh, or whatever it is that is somehow um, stagnant in your life or in your relationship. Things are actually moving forward. We are seeing here that you know someone comes in. This is the knife ones. You know, you know some form of event or message or situation unfolds and comes into your life with great speed and passion. And maybe that person has been contemplating on deciding about it or not. Should I do this or not? And finally, they do. Um, say something about it uh, the two of cups is all about conversations communication unions of any kind all of those kinds of energy so um, this is a situation where in um, you are going to see some form of progress in terms of relationships as a whole so let us now discuss about the energies that we are we are seeing up here we have here obstacles delays initiating action and an opportunity opens up for us so um the cards that i have over here is basically more of a confirmation of the reading and prediction that we're seeing over here so we are seeing here that you're you are at that point wherein you had your own share of obstacles and delays maybe things are not working out but this is the month wherein you are going to be you should be um, expecting some form of initiation maybe you are going to initiate something during this time or you will have a lot more energy during this month to to do a lot of things you know do a lot of action you know maybe there are a lot of things that you wanted to do but not able to do so and this is going to be the month for it and there's definitely going to be opportunities for you so opportunities are really a big thing because sometimes when uh oppor even if we do take action it does not mean we become successful because sometimes we don't really have that opportunity so if you do take action and the opportunity is there for you there is a huge possibility that 
things can actually turn out really more successfully, more wonderfully, and things can be、uh, quite flowing in nature all at the same time. So in my cardamancy deck here, we do have、um, some some few cards over here, and this is more of a situation we're in. We are going to be receiving some form of messages from someone, and、um, I would say that for for some of you, especially in terms of love life, this could be a situation wherein there is a possibility for miscommunication. Whenever we have the two of spades, that is an element wherein you know something needs to be fixed, something needs to be corrected.、Um, there could be agreements or disagreements that might be in place as well. But this is an element wherein we try to solve things. We try to, we try to communicate and make things work out. Since we do have here the、um, the three of diamonds and the ace of hearts, so this is a period of time wherein maybe you had some form of falling out or some form of.、Um, Difficulty in terms of your love life, or in terms of some form of negotiations or communications with someone, and nothing is really working out during this time. And this is a period wherein some form of promises can be fulfilled right now, and、um, there could be some form of fickle energy when it comes to communication. But we are seeing that there is going to be some form of effort. In bringing in understanding between you and a certain person in your life as well, so yes, there could be some form of frustrating element into this, but、um, this is basically telling us that、uh, there is some form of effort when it comes to communication that we need to do if we if we want to make things work out. And、um, this is a very interesting mix. We have here the I need space. Do not pressure me, and I need to be alone. And the last card over here is the, the I will take action card. So this is basically a situation wherein,、um, if things are not working out in your life right now, you know, and this might be having to do with your love life, with your career, or whatever it is you're going through right now. I kind of feel that this is more of a message wherein force is never an answer. So. If you're trying to make things happen,、um, trying to set a deal, trying to force someone to do your bidding, if things that you want to happen, you know all of those kind of stuff.、Um, this is a situation wherein forcing something is never going to work out. So I would say that this is a moment wherein you need to let things happen in your life. Um, especially if you feel that you have done the work, you know you have take taken action. You have done something. You have you you know do doing the needed work that you need to do. Basically, is something that you need to keep in mind here. You know, if you have if you have already taken action in the past and things are still not working out, it's time for you to step back and not pressure the other person. You know. And maybe they need to be alone. They need to realize something by themselves because we do have here the two two of wands. Remember that, and this two of wands is something that this knight of wands person is going to come into conclusion of. So let let them be. Let them take the action. You know, they you don't need to force anything. And just know. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Just know that. Just know that there is going to be some form of movement, changes, and wonderful opportunities is going to be coming for you. We do have here the journey, the house, and sudden wealth, which really means that there is going to be some form of blessing in the skies and some form of offers going to come into you, some form of happy ventures. Um, going to be coming in. So this is not about you having the need to make an effort to do something about your situation. I kind of feel that this is really more of a situation that something happens in your life wherein you will actually get to receive some form of blessing. You know, some form of luck, some form of opportunity, and.、Um, 
it is something that you should grab hold on and the opportunity that comes to you that is something that you should grab hold on um and they are going to be coming to you without you really asking for it so i kind of feel that for a lot of you guys that this could be some form of fated event well not really fated but really more of of a situation that you know if something really happens to you right now this is something that has been in the works for quite some time maybe they did not really happened um in the last few months or weeks you know and you have been waiting and waiting so basically this is really more of a giving us a green signal light we're in you can manifest things in your life right now there's some form of luck some form of huge luck i would say and a lot of chances a lot of opportunities are being opened up to you and i kind of feel that this is going to be a time we're in there is a lot of engagement a lot of activities a lot of social um networking that might be happening you know and this is going to be the month we're in a lot of you aries people are going to finally tell themselves and have that form of idea that okay finally things are actually moving forward but of course um I would just say that uh, have a bit of a warning as well that you know things are going to be happening for you if you um let things um takes take its natural course basically you know trying to not force a situation trying not to to control someone basically you know letting things happen um and uh, um yeah so that's basically the idea here because yes you might be having some form of communication some form of positive alignment some form of negotiation with someone but if you um if you like pressure them or do something that can be too much overwhelming you know that 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 connection um can be distorted one way or another so i would say that you know um this is really a good time for you guys there's going to be a lot of opportunities a lot of chances to to make something work out and make something really proceed in your life right now but um i, I would say that the need for balance you know of not going overboard with certain things is going to be very important remember there is going to be a need for you to give space for the other person and not just about you pressuring someone nagging someone to get what you want this is about you taking a step back when you need to and let them make a decision by themselves as well you know as long as you have already done your job the first time so um yeah this is my reading for you guys um aries for the month of april 2021 and i do hope that this reading um gives you insight and clarity to your situation and um yeah if you do want a more personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye